What's going on, guys? It's your boy Terry by Reacts here, and I'm back finally with some more Hunter Hunter. Um, just in case you guys want to know what happened, um, I took a break. Well, not from the anime, but really just to get myself situated with my new place. Um, you guys have, who have been paying attention to the channel, watching the channel updates, you would have known <clears throat> what was going on okay so today we're jumping back into episode 48 um so episode 47 was the fight between kurapika and uvo r.i.p uvo because he stood no chance <laughs> absolutely no chance he had kurapika is um some people are uh, uh, you know debated me it was like because i basically i the the um i named the video um i basically the name of the video was kurupika is op now some people challenge me and they're like they, he's not op because um his power is specific um to his power is specific to the to the troop right the phantom troop well not exactly because he did use other things against other people there's other moves that he can use against other things. It's just that when it comes on to the spider troop, he's he's over the top. He's over the top, and it's based on his resolve, right? When it comes on to the spider troop. But I don't think what I believe when it comes on to Kurapika's power is not that he can't use his power against other people. I think he's his strongest against the phantom troop now i know you guys are probably going to debate this to hell I, as i tell you guys i'm not a power scaling guy i don't do that stuff because i think it's absolutely ridiculous to have these senseless arguments about power scaling um especially when you when you go to the point of crossing over between animes and stuff like that oh this person is stronger than this person um we all can enjoy the f the fact of um um you know what if you know what i'm saying what if luffy was supposed to fight ichigo from from bleach what if i enjoy if you're gonna make fan animation about something like that about a crossover like that but you'll never get me to argue with you on points of you know when it comes on to um crossovers about who's stronger or who might be stronger because every different anime has different power systems so it's like you saying somebody would nen would beat somebody in the naruto universe you know what i'm saying it's you know what i mean like the power systems are so different like suppose if naruto characters had access to nen how powerful would they be or if they had or if gun and and um and freaking Killua, right if they had access to um to jutsus and and stuff like that how powerful would they be you know what i'm saying everybody would be op, OP in anime if all the universes connect you know what i'm saying um so it's pretty cool man to 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 just watch the animes and enjoy them and that's what i do so i do believe that kurapika is op on a whole yes his power does depend on him fighting the phantom troop hopefully we get to see him go up against somebody else in the phantom troop again that's what i'm hoping for <clears throat> i don't know if that's gonna happen um because at this point they're being hunted who knows they're to me in right now from what we we've seen from them so far they're super over the top when it comes on to their powers i mean if it wasn't for somebody like kurapika i mean look at what uvo did you know what i'm saying the people he took out i know they were kind of like fodder i didn't see them beating uvo because uvo is a master enhancer he's a master enhancer so i never saw him losing against anybody else you know what i'm saying like they had to hype him up to go up against one of the main characters which is um was an awesome fight i loved it you guys saw my reaction and also man thank you guys so much for 
all the support that you've been supporting the channel and stuff like that you know what i'm saying with comments and likes and stuff like that thank you so much so let's jump into this man we're gonna go watch these reactions then we come back and i'll do a review if you're new to my hunter hunter series we do full reactions over here but i put them on an outside source and make sure that they're ready so that you guys can watch them as soon as you click on the video so just the link will be in the description you got two options either on the google drive or on a site called bitshoot okay so we're gonna jump into these reactions and i will see you guys for the review All right, welcome back, guys, to the review of Hunter Hunter, episode 48 to 50, I think. Yeah, so these three episodes were pretty cool, man, pretty cool. I'm trying to be as laid back as possible trying to do my reviews now because I noticed I was a little bit too uptight, um, uncomfortably in my chair. So I'm laying back trying to relax, <laughs> you know, so... In these three episodes, we got to see freaking Gon and Killua getting captured, trying to follow, because you know the bounty's out on them. So they trying to follow them. And still, when they realize that, oh, these guys are super powerful, they still kept following them with a chance to i don't know if it's they want to know their near they were because there's no prize for their whereabouts right they want them the mafia wants them dead or alive i think so um so i don't know why they kept following them because <laughs> even when they figured out even when killer killer was saying hey these guys are they're way more powerful than us just picture two hisokas sitting there but the okie doke that they got that they got hisoka and gun uh, not hisoka um killua and gun on that was pretty dope when they caught him how they caught him because i didn't even know two of the other troop members were there because not even um nobunaga didn't know that they were there either um what's the what's his name Sphinx, Sphinx, and um they were actually yeah two other members we're there you know what i'm saying so pretty dope man learning about this um this girl i don't remember her name um but it's kind of dope to see um nobunaga having those kind of feelings because you know i don't like heartless villains i i hate it i think people cannot really write heartless villains it's kind of like i love when when villains have not necessarily a heart but the reasons why they do stuff the reason why they kill the reason why they destroy everything around them whether it's to get information give you guys an example always use naruto of pain i think pain um nagato is 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 one of the most um one of the best written characters in anime history for the for the for the for the arc that he was in Naruto, one of the best arcs in Naruto, in my opinion, of pain and the understanding of what he went through and why he did what he did. Why did he attack the Leaf Village? Yes, it was just to find, um, just to figure out where Naruto was because they wanted the Nine Tails. Um, but at the same time, when he, the things that he was explaining to Naruto in that fight was dope, the dopest concept. Even when Naruto went to go visit him the real body of pain um and in front of nagato you know what i'm saying and the stuff that he was telling naruto about his story and and what happened to him you know what i'm saying they got caught in the middle like their freaking village was the battlefield for for the for the for the great ninja war and that that shit messed that would mess with anybody you know what i'm saying that drove them to you know start the akatsuki and all of this other stuff so I love when villains are written properly, written with a clear purpose, you know what I'm saying, like, and, and it's heartfelt, too, because you're like, what if I was in that position, you know what I'm saying, it's very easy 
to go in that direction. It, it, you know what I'm saying? The direction that they're going. So as the person who's watching the show, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of like with, with Sasuke also, you know, and Naruto, you know, Naruto could have chosen that path too. He was obscured. He was, he was not loved by the village. He could have went the same direction Sasuke went. You know what I'm saying? As a, as a matter of fact, I would say Naruto have more of a reason to abandon that that village than, than Sasuke ever did. Because Sasuke was accepted. He was loved in the village. He had a personal vendetta. That's what's, what caused him to left, including the fact that, you know, his best friend, basically, his best friend was progressively getting better than him. You know what I'm saying? And he realized, he, he kind of put it in his head that as long as I'm around this guy, I'm never going to be better. I'm never going to get better. You know what I'm saying? So those things pushed him to leave. So I love when a character um, in, in, in Hunter Hunter, where you have villains that are written with a purpose. You know what I'm saying? So I love how they put Nobunaga like, right now, I love his character. I love his character. Even though you know what I'm saying? He would kill Killua and Gun in a heartbeat. I love his character because he, he he had really showed in um in the last in the last episode, well, episode 50, it really showed how much he cared about Uvogan, right? So it really showed how much he cared about him. You know what I'm saying? So I, I love that about the characters. You know, Gun kind of called him out and was like, "Can't? Why can't you share that for everybody? It's not just about your friend here or your friend there. Just a little bit of remorse towards the people that you have killed." And I know that right then and there, Gun was probably thinking about what, um, about what the information that he knows about them that he's heard from Kurapika, right? Which is Kurapika. As always, as told them that, hey, man, these people killed my entire clan, man. They killed my entire clan, you know what I'm saying, for the, for our eyes, bro. For our eyes, because they're valuable, our scarlet eyes. So, pretty dope concept, man. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to try to do about five episodes for my next reaction. This time, I have a couple more things I have to cover tonight, so I won't be able to do any more. So thank you guys for tuning in as always, man. Leave a like, leave a comment on this video. Um, thank you guys. If you stay throughout, throughout the end, man, I really do appreciate it. Um, um, so I'm going to try my best to get these things out to you guys on time. I'm still in the process of moving, getting stuff up proper and stuff like that. I'm still doing that. Um, had to, to go do some other stuff the other day and I'm going out of town very soon <laughs> so I'm trying to do some stuff now so that when I go when I'm going out of town and I'm traveling I won't have no no problem putting out reactions maybe I'll record some things in advance I will be traveling with my setup but at the same time sometimes I still don't get the time to do reactions so I'm gonna try to to get some stuff in place so that when I go and I leave then, you know what I'm saying, reactions can go on as scheduled, okay? So, thank you guys so much, man. It's, it's really dope. It's really um, dope to have you guys leave comment <laughs> in the comments section. If you're new, you subscribe now. You know what I'm saying? I have to do these things. I have to... I shouldn't even have to be telling you guys to subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan of the show and you've watched it before, you know what I'm saying? Even if you don't like how I do my reactions, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyways, man, thank you guys so much. Just remember, you are Terror Squad. I am Mr. Terabyte Reacts, and I will see you guys for the next one. Peace.